Okay, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to take a look at the execute many method in SQLite, how you can use it, what it does. This is going to be like part two, I guess, of the last video where we just talked about placeholders and how they can be useful because you never know what the user is going to give you. And before we get started, if you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing. That way you don't miss any videos in the future. And if you're new to this series and you want to look at all the other videos, they should all be in a playlist so you can start from the very beginning up into this point and then more in the future. So if we look where we left off, I had the car string and it looked a little bit different. There was only one car in this car string and the Nissan had a single quote in the name. And we shown how that would fail if we just made a dynamic insert statement with it. But when we're using placeholders, it actually worked just fine because if we look at database, it put that single quote right here and it didn't disrupt us inserting that value. But now I want to show you what you can do if you want to execute many insert statements at a time instead of one at a time like we're seeing here. So what you can do with the SQLite 3 library is run a method on the cursor called execute many instead of just execute where it takes in two parameters. One is the SQL, so the insert statement with the placeholders. And the second is a list of tuples. So before we were just running execute, which was the SQL statement and then a single tuple. But instead, if we run execute many, it could be the SQL statement and then a list of tuples. So what I want to do right above our for loop is create that list that is going to hold all of the different tuples of data to create insert statements with. So for us, we can call this whatever we want. And I'm just going to name it cars because we haven't used that yet, surprisingly. And it's just going to be an empty list. And then below when we're going through this for loop, we create each tuple dynamically, right? We take this car string, we separate it into its different parts and we create a tuple out of it. We can append each tuple into the cars list. So right below creating the tuple, let's then do cars dot append vowels, the tuple that we create. We don't care about the rest of this. So let's cut this and paste it outside of the for loop. And then after some formatting, the SQL is going to remain the same, right? Because it has the placeholders where we have the different values. The only thing that's going to change now is instead of execute, we're going to run execute many. And instead of vowels, we're going to pass in that cars list above. And actually before we execute and commit, let's print out just to make sure it looks good, the cars list. So if we run this, here we can see our list of two tuples because there's two sets of cars in this car string. And that looks good. So let's uncomment this execute many and then the commit, run this again. And we'll go back to our database, we'll refresh. And now we see we have two new cars that we inserted using that execute many method. So depending on what your scenario is, you may prefer creating insert statements one at a time and then running those executions independently. Or maybe you want to come up with a list of tuples and then running the execute many to execute them all at once. It's kind of up to you. But I just want to show you how you could use this and that it exists. And uh, yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video and take care.